Okay guys, this custom is going to be slightly different, mainly because it, this uh, bus bank has this uh, bottom uh, stand on it that I'm going to have to saw off. Uh, with previous ones, um, the, the bust has uh, finished at his waist, which uh, has enabled the bottom to be part of the waist, and then I can just drill two holes and sit the wooden dowels in, and the bottom of the uh, bust would hold them in place. I'll just show you this one that I'm working on as well. This Teenage Ninja Turtle, as you can see, the it could just go straight into the base, and the bottom of the base holds it in place. Now, the difference with this one is when I saw this bottom off, it's all going to be opened up. So I'm going to have to find some way to pack it out inside, and then somewhere to hold the wonders in place. And yeah, let's get this bottom off first and go from there So, whilst I was busy sawing away, I actually realised that I could have just pulled the damn thing out and avoid actually sawing into his, into the base of him. So, let's see if I can tidy this up. Okay, that is now ready for packing out and the two bundles placing in for his legs. Okay, so the way I've decided to pack this out is I'm going to first tape up his back here where you put the money in and I'm going to pack it out with uh, paper and card and uh, some wood glue and then um, pack it really compactly and tightly with wood glue and then at the same time I'm going to put two wooden dolls in and the wood glue should hold it all together and then at the base here I'm going to be putting some milliput around the base so it sticks to the inside and it'll stick around the two wooden dolls and hold them in place and as we know milliput dries rock hard so they shouldn't move Okay hey guys, as you can see I've packed it with uh, newspapers and I've put a, a layer of uh, Gorilla Glue on the top there that I'm going to leave to dry and then once that dry, these are pretty solid to be fair as they are but once it all dries that should hold it in place as well and then I'm going to uh, finish it off with some Milliput. Okay guys, that's the paper now hardened with double glue and then just for a bit of extra security I've just squirted two pots of super glue in and around the base and that has dried and that is all now rock solid. I'm still going to go ahead and put the uh, milliput 
just to finish it off and then you can start putting the tin foil around the legs and start sculpting with the clay. Okay guys, I'm not actually happy with this at the moment, I think the legs are too thick and there's, a, there's not actually a lot of clay on this, um, so I'm going to break it all off, um, break it back down to the wooden dowels and the aluminium foil or tin foil, and I'm going to rip some of that away and just to make these legs a bit more thinner because I do think they're a bit too thick. So yeah, learn from my mistakes I guess, because so now I'm going to have to break it all off and start from scratch. So what I've done is I've gone in with uh, a hacksaw and a Stanley knife and just shaved that away. Uh, if I was to do this again, I'm already th I'm thinking about mistakes I've made. I probably would have cut all, all the figure, the bust down all the way up to his belt and done the whole leg, two legs and midriff out of clay. Uh, but I'm just going to carry on the way I am. I'm going to be using some milliput to finish off his holster. Um, but yeah. I, I've shaved that away so that now the both legs will stand straight. So let's carry on with the clay.
Okay guys, so I posted a, an update photo on uh, Instagram and a couple of people pointed out that uh, the legs looked a bit long and I actually do, I do agree with them. So what I've done is I've gone in and shortened them and if I zoom out there you can see it does look a lot better and a lot more in, in proportion. So I've gone in and cut away the clay and I'm going to be cutting that a bit further up in a little bit of an archway to accommodate the shoes and I've reattached the wooden pegs or wooden dowels it's actually stuck to the mat I've used a two part epoxy glue to stick them together let's see if I can get that off without hey. oh, my finger's stuck to it so the glue's still sticking <laughs> yeah, it's still hardening yeah so I used a two part epoxy glue and I've actually put a bit of super glue on there as well so I'm going to wait for them to wait for that to dry and then remould the bottom of the trousers and redo the shoes. Okay that's all the clay moulding done now. I've gone ahead and finished the bottom of the trousers and moulded the, his uh, shoes. I've also gone ahead and used some milliput to finish off the bottom of the corner holster that was cut off by the bottom of the bust. And now I'm going to go ahead and give a full custom paint job ready for the final reveal.